I was warming my pan up to cook some steaks and I forgot about it and I left the lid on and I melted the damn lid onto my skillet like an idiot. It looked like the scorched surface of planet Mercury. And my house was full of plastic smoke. It was just a disaster. Um, but I consulted my friends on Reddit and Twitter and it turns out that uh, you can recover these things. So I used regular all-purpose 120 grit sandpaper which I just had laying around the house and a uh, power sander to uh, to resurface it to, to tear that stuff off. I used a butter knife to get the first couple layers off. I just really just ground that down. These things are really tough. I have no use for butter knives in my house anyway, so I just got after it, peeling all that stuff off. Huh? You're cleaning the cast iron. Is that your tool, is that your, uh, your tool bench right there? Okay, so this is uh, after just the first the first piece of sandpaper, uh, you can see here that this stuff got pretty gunked up. Uh, this took about 10, 15 minutes of just pretty consistent, look at that right there. Yeah, so it got pretty gunked up and it was kind of difficult to use this thing to get it to get it into these to these angles, so you kind of have to really work it. <clears throat> kind of have to really work it, like at these weird angles, and you kind of the thing the 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 pan was kind of sliding all over the place, but just got in there everywhere. I also did the handle and just the outer rim, and I I tried to get the sides as much as I could. Um, but I think this is I think this is fine. Um, I was continuously kind of just wiping the ash and the 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 burnt stuff down as i would go there's a lot of buildup of just old debris the surface but i mean this thing was black before it was like that and now it's almost looking like shiny so pretty cool i'm pretty stoked about that uh, and now i'm going to season it okay so i am done stripping this this thing here I think that's good enough uh, it looks it looks beautiful but I'm going to re-season it now and to do that I am going to use this beef tallow that is bone broth so I made this bone broth and this was the cup that had the most fat and I've uh, I've saved it and now I'm going to use this beef tallow right here to lightly coat that pan and then I will bake it in the oven at 425 for about an hour and then I'll just let it cool. I might do it twice but uh, once should be enough to season this thing and then she will be good to go. So that is beef tallow. If you're going to season a cast iron you want to use some sort of fat that has a high smoke point. So tallow, lard, butter is not a good fat because that will just burn up right away. It doesn't have a high smoke point. Coconut oil has a fairly high smoke point. Avocado oil has a fairly high smoke point. Bacon grease. So, uh, and then the, the fat will just kind of bake into this and that's, this thing is so smooth. It's, I'm really stoked to use it. So that's, uh, that's project resurface and re-season cast iron skillet after plastic demolished it. That's what it looks like after one session of re-seasoning. So uh, an hour and a half at 425 with one thin layer of fat. Um, but I ended up doing it a total of five times and I recommend you do that too. It, it just it made it so much better. Every time it got more even, you can see the discoloration. Every time it got more even and more smooth. All right, so that is what the cast iron skillet looks like after five seasonings with beef tallow at 425 for an hour and a half uh, each time. So it, uh, it feels smooth. It looks like there's some like bubbles on there, but I think that is just, uh, just fat. We'll see how it, how it goes. I'm going to use it again. Are you going to use it for the first time tonight? Let you know how it goes.